I'm Yvonne. And I'm Melissa. Today on Point Blank, we take a look at teen hangouts, both past and present. But before we go into the discussion, let's take a look at this clip. Far East Plaza, Cafe Sinilesia, Hirin. What do these places have in common? Well, they're all popular destinations for teenagers to shop, eat, maybe catch a movie, and of course, hang out. That's these days. But ask someone in their late 20s or early 30s to wax nostalgic about their favourite teen hangouts, and chances are you get a different list of places. Back in the 80s and 90s, the it places for youths, it seems, was Marina Square, Centrepoint and Faris Plaza. In fact, there was even a name coined for youths who loitered at such shopping malls. The Far East Kids and the Centerpoint Kids. Ring a bell? No, no. Maybe my mom. Probably. Not really. I can't really remember already. Remember Far East Kids, yes. Centerpoint, not really. Lucky Plaza for sure, all the Filipino hangouts there. No, not the Centerpoint Kids. Just normal, normal kids, uh, school kids, trying to be fashionable. So that. That's about all. No, really, I, I, I didn't know about that. You don't know about these people? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're too young for that. Then. <laughs> Almost forgotten, but not quite. After talking to more than 20 people, we managed to find two who at least remembered the term. After my time, there's, there's a lot of center point kids here. All the teenage there. What do you remember of the center point kids? All the skateboard, fast food, McDonald's, all will hang around there. Okay. Especially uh, Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve, or weekends. So what's your impression of those kind of kids? More modern, keep up to the living standard and uh, all the new stuff will be all come up from them. Very uh, playful and uh, noisy. <laughs> yes, yes, come on, give me more. Noisy and um, uncivilized also. Too much noise and uh, shouting here and there. Well, the Centerpoint Kids is a term that cropped up during the 80s to describe groups of youths who used to hang out at the shopping complex. Other similar phenomena were the Far East Kids in the 80s, which re-emerged again in the mid-90s, and the Marina Square Kids in the early 90s. Fast forward to present day, these groups of youths may no longer exist, but there's always new hangout places. And whether such teenagers that gather at these places are seen as a rowdy crowd, trendsetters or just plain loiterers, one thing's for sure. There must have been an appeal factor that attracted them to the place. So in today's Point Blank, we find out what makes a great hangout place for teens and bring you the all-time favourite places for youths from the 80s till now. Also, we find out if Orchard Road still reigns as the top hangout destination for youths or if that has changed with time. So don't go away.